Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday, I let you know that Microsoft Edge had received a bug fix update that was adding more Copilot into the browser. I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. And in the video, I touched on the fact that Microsoft had made an announcement saying that starting at the end of May this year, users may see suggested work and productivity related copilot prompts by their search box on the new tab page. Also, users may see the copilot icon in their search box, allowing them to click on the icon to send their current search query to copilot. And I thought I'd dive a little bit deeper into this because this is actually something I've been posting on called the new copilot mode, which has been in preview now for a good couple of weeks. So it seems that AI is going to be overtaking and taking over the Edge browser um, shortly. Because currently, as you may well know, we can access Copilot by clicking on that toggle. We've got Copilot in the side panel and other areas of the browser. So what Microsoft is actually going to do, it's going to replace the Bing search icon with Copilot. And when you click on the Copilot icon in the search, which will replace Bing, all interactions with your search box will route you to the Copilot website. And something else that's happening is if we head into our flags, edge colon forward slash forward slash flags, the Copilot mode flag is available in the stable already. And I have enabled it, but it's not enabling the Copilot mode. So the flag is already available. Microsoft has already made that announcement that more AI is coming to the browser on the new tab page. So just a quick recap as to what's going to happen, because I think this is going to change the way Edge functions as a browser in the future. So if we head over to Edge Canary, which is an early preview version, Copilot mode can be activated in two different areas. Yeah, by your profile and in that profile flyout menu. Or if we head into settings, and here you see Copilot mode. And if we toggle that on, it says discover a whole new way to browse the web with Copilot. Opt out at any time. Now, the good news with this, though, although it seems that AI is going to be taking over the browser, so to speak, we can turn this off. But if we just head back to stable, Microsoft is still going to be adding the Copilot icon to the search box and the search bar, which means the way you used to interact with the search bar and maybe Bing is changing according to that announcement. And as mentioned, Microsoft says you're also going to see suggested work and productivity related Copilot prompts by your search box. But getting back to Copilot mode, it says chat, search, and navigate with a modern new tab page inspired by Copilot. Turn off Copilot mode to disable this feature. So every time you open up a new tab with that feature enabled, you're not going to get your so called new tab page. You're going to get Copilot mode. So it's basically a souped up version of Copilot, where as you can see, you can search and chat. You've got quick response and think deeper. You've got suggestions, different shortcuts for some different products. And then if we head to settings, that's also changed. And it, you can turn off and enable quick links. And you can click on that and it takes you directly to the Copilot mode settings. Now, something just to take note of, context clues might raise a privacy flag. It says, Copilot may give better answers based on the current web page, browser history, or preferences in Microsoft Edge. Turn off Copilot mode to disable this feature. So if you turn on Copilot mode, the Copilot inspired new tab page, as Microsoft calls it, this is very similar to me as Windows Recall. So it might be a bit of a privacy flag, but the good news is you can turn Copilot mode off, which turns off the whole feature. And then something else you can do is you can actually turn off built-in Copilot search, 
which is another option on this page, which I think is good. So although it seems that AI is going to be taking over the browser, and Microsoft already calls Microsoft Edge an AI browser, the good news is, is you will be able to toggle all these features off. And Microsoft says that starting at the end of May, so I know this week we are getting Edge version 137 starting to roll out late on Thursday in my region, the 29th of May. So there's a good chance that the so-called co-pilot mode and the new tab page um, changes are going to be rolling out with 137. So the rollout for all these changes I've mentioned today is going to be staggered and controlled according to Microsoft. But Microsoft has made the announcement, so you can expect a lot more AR to come into Edge. But the good news is, thankfully, we are able to turn it off. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.